Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken and we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore uh, where we're playing the game on the highest difficulty uh, with only one save game and uh, as soon as a mission goes bust the entire campaign is over. So we're on thin ice. Uh, let's move into today's mission which is uh, preventing field tests. Uh, we are having an idea that Violet, the leader of the progeny, is uh, trying to conduct uh, field tests and we're, we want to find out where she really is in order to defeat her. So with that uh, we are probably investigating Renova Heights, um, giving us some credits but mainly managing unrest. I want to make sure that we're not uh, having parts of the city in turmoil. So we are taking our standard team here, uh, which should be more than more than enough for this mission. Uh, Blue Blood, however, is not with us, so let's do a little trick that I wanted to uh, show you. Um, given that equipment is pretty expensive, what you can do, and it's not hampering with um, uh, with his training is you can essentially take out uh, the items that you want and put it onto a different character. For instance, um, uh, we're, we could use it on Shelter because Shelter could require a bit better to hit chance. Good. And that's really a nice uh, way of not wasting our additional items. Good, the team looks ready. We got one encounter and that is really it. Stra straightforward enough, let's jump into it. See what they're up to. Time for the breach mode. So we got an explosive entrance. Uh, Non-aggressive enemies guarding this place are surprised, that's great. First unit through this entrance is guaranteed to lend their shots. That's also pretty good. I think we're going to take the wall. Why not? On the other hand, nah, we got chair up, so we can just use fa phalanx. Uh, so we are actually going to be fine. Very nice. So the only one that could be dangerous for us is a single brute. What else do we have? Another brute, an arcolite, a resonant, and a codex. I hate codexes, uh, codices. Hmm. You know what? Let's go phalanx. Uh, that takes care of the brute. I don't mind. And instead, let's go for the Codex. I really don't want to deal with it. Yeah, I think that was the right decision. Good. Destroy the device to stop reinforcements. You know what the perfect candidate um, uh, for that job is? Exactly. Shelter. AKA quick in, quick out. That's the right candidate. Chirrup takes his kinetic shield uh, himself. And let's take the Brute as well as one of the Arcolites. Let me try again. Good lord, that was good. Love it. Reducing profile. 
All right, moving the thrall over. And, you know, so far I'm not even seeing reinforcements. Hmm. Let's focus on uh, the, the enemies shortly. I don't see reinforcements yet, not at the end of the turn. So we should be fine for now. Behold your shackle. That's not a problem, we can kill the Arcolite. That is a problem because Shelter will take a lot of damage there. Wait a second, would we be able to hit the Arcolite? Yes, the an answer is yes. Good. Then... Let's take out the Brood. Still not seeing reinforcements, so for now we're fine. Arcolite is down. That ends um, the effect. The Thrall is not a problem. Matter of fact, the Thrall is the perfect opportunity for us to teleport out next turn. We are... Healing shelter instead of pinning someone down. Keep us safe. Still need to kill that device. Sixty-six percent chance to kill the brood. I think we're taking these odds. Yeah, almost. That's bad because it's this. No, it's not even disorientation. It's stun. Well, wow, that's even worse. And he's being healed. Well, perfect. That's exactly what we were what we were hoping for. Okay, we need to make sure that we're not uh, taking more reinforcements. So, a couple of things. First things first. Terminal needs a kinetic shield. Still not seeing the reinforcements, to be honest. Am I missing something? Yeah, we don't want to use the pistol in order to deal with that apparatus. Let's clear the backline and kill the apparatus. ASAP. I wish we could do two attacks with him, but we can't. Who could do a second attack? Let's think about it. Hmm.
Yeah, by thinking about it, there's really no great play here. Might as well position ourselves. Yeah, that here is bad because uh, these are explosives. I don't want to position in front of explosives. Could position ourselves over here. That's at least cover. Yeah, we're taking this position and we'll focus on the device. Good, we're falling a bit behind in terms of momentum. Which is lamentable. My mind over yours. Yeah, we probably need to kill the mutant here. Problem is we won't be able to kill him, so might as well take the Thrall. And accept that he's going to do another devastating blow. Sucks, but there is only so much we can do about it. Luckily there is a kinetic shield this time. And next turn we can uh, take care of him. Yeah, that is, if you are lacking DPS um, and and you're on a timer, and things are not looking great, for sure. So, med kit heal ourselves. Yes, please. We give ourselves the kinetic shield. Yeah, can't hit the target, but that's okay. Let me try again. Turtling. Good. Again, we need to focus on really getting out of here, um, uh, really killing this and then getting out of here. I like his position, so we're going to relocate. It's very hard to flank. And we get dozens of uh, opportunities to flank ourselves. Need to stop the reinforcements, so we're probably going to focus just on doing that. All right, moving up. Again, we need to stop the reinforcements. I don't want to deal with them. We're going to take some damage, which is unfortunately not avo avoidable.
frying some corneas. I almost looked. Let's see if the disorientation helps us. This here will prevent the reinforcements from coming in. I would have uh, I would have needed five damage a little bit earlier, so I was pretty late. Took a lot of damage here, but luckily we're in full cover, so we should be fine. Holy shit, we're taking a lot of damage, but we're very soon going to have the upper hand. And then this here will look very different. Terminal takes a shield. Very nice. Good. Moving up. Med kit heal for terminal. Let me get that. And let's subdue him. Perfect. Good, we got it under control again. Give me your mind. That guy is taken out. Might as well start to deal damage to the brute. Thanks to so many people in his neural network, he's easily able to um, to attack the brood. And by pushing the brood down further, we are now controlling the battlefield. So once there is once there is this critical uh, mass where where you're taking the upper hand, um, this team here will essentially completely dominate the enemy. But yeah, if you fall behind, and if, if we're just getting overrun, then it is indeed hard. Book em. You know, it's not the worst decision. Put everyone into full cover. No more ammunition. Which forces him to come. Ammunition restored. Yeah, he's using a shotgun which has a really poor accuracy. The melee stance that he's using, on the other hand, as soon as someone would uh, approach him and come into his uh, direct proximity, it's like a blade storm. It would trigger. Yeah, let's just gun him down. I thought... I think that broke his melee stance. We got a shield anyways, even if it wouldn't. Perfect. Well, a bit of a sloppy um, mission because we almost got overwhelmed. Um, but once the battlefield was under control and we did no longer have the timer where we needed to shoot at the device, we were actually fine. So probably one way of playing that differently or better is 
to essentially go directly for the device, uh, not care about uh, the consequences, um, and take shots at the device from the very beginning. Good. Plus two towards the operation, minus two unrest, 30 credits, and 20 intel. That's pretty damn good. Let's take a look at the city map. Yeah, that sucks. There is anarchy. And anarchy or emergencies are generally bad because it's quite random. It's the most difficult uh, mission type. So I that, that's a bit of a gamble. That's why I don't like these mission types. Um, however, you can only stop anarchy by actually doing it. Otherwise, it just goes up and up and up. Uh, that's the price that we pay for letting this run to maximum unrest. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay. Got some scars here. Holy shit. Unfortunate. What? Hit points reduced by three? Are you kidding me? All right. So he'll uh, sit in the training facility right after Blue Blood is done. Good. We got the overload ability. Um, once he has. Uh, three charges on his shield he'll get a mobility bonus and uh, hit even harder i like it it's a good ability the shield is actually quite strong if you know how to use it her ability is super cool i totally like it it's the cooperation ability which now that we do have cooperation and the pin down uh, ability she can always take two turns. Cooperation shifts a turn over to someone else, and this is super helpful. Um, you can turn that into a mind control, you can turn that into another shield, whatever. Like, uh, this is essentially whatever you want. Um, super, super helpful. Very flexible. And here we do have two options. Uh, shelter could either uh, upgrade the relocate so that it delays uh, the next turn of the relocated enemies, which I took the last time, so that's good. Or the disorientation field upgrades the relocate so um, that relocated XCOM units, including shelter, gain 50 defense until their next turn. Also not bad, but I think the delay, as always, is uh, the better choice because tempering uh, with uh, the initiative is really what this game is about. So any ability that you can use in order to do that, and this is an ability which you can use, mind you, every single turn, is pretty damn good. Okay. So that's the locker room. Uh, let's go back to the actual city. Nice. We finally got enhanced pistols and we probably got the credits uh, to even pull it off. That's cool. I like it. So next up, I would like to go for enhanced armor, but eight turns is a lot. I like enhanced armor. It's really good. It gives you additional utility items, which are helpful. So everyone could carry an additional med kit. You know what? Since we now have pistol upgrades, might as well take the enhanced armor. It's a shame that we still don't have anyone there, but I'm so greedy that I want to continue the spec ops. The greed is real, guys. The greed is real. Good, so we upgrade our pistols, which is now plus one to our pistols, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're just keeping a couple of credits uh, to ourselves. So once uh, the armor is upgraded, we can use uh, that. No need to spend the money if we don't have to. Good. 
Good. Which kind of brings us to the end of uh, today's run. Next up, we will go and face the emergency, which is kind of uh, the equivalent to a terror mission. Um, I would at least say that is very, very similar. And yeah, unfortunately, since we need to deal with this, our 65 um, supplies are going down the drain. But the cool part is we're going to essentially um, reduce it, uh, the um, unrest level by two. So that's four unrest overall that's being reduced. We don't have enough intel to build anything. It's a bit of a shame because I was hoping that we could, yeah, um, build our last technology upgrade. But given everything else uh, that, uh, that we can see, we are really making a great progress. Uh, the resource management works very much in our favor. Um, if you focus only on the strategy layer and the resource management, I mean, the divisions are a tiny bit harder, but overall, I think it's the right uh, play. So I would uh, recommend doing that strategy wise. It worked very well for me. Um, tech wise, once we got armor, I really want to go through uh, the um, other um, guns. We'll probably go submachine guns next and then assault rifles. Shotguns last because we currently don't have characters uh, that are using them. Axiom is using them, but he's only here um, as a reserve unit for now. We're going to level him later um, once the main team is fully leveled. We can uh, put in other, um, uh, other operatives. And that's really it. I mean, yeah, weapons our next target. Good. That brings us to the end of today's mission. Thank you so much for watching. And after you drop the like and a comment down below, um, we see each other in the next mission. Take care and goodbye.